hey my loves what's up and welcome back to the trend diaries i'm nadi and welcome back to another makeup therapy session in which you can see how the skin really looks like and how makeup looks like in reality so that is my before my skin without any skin care i have extremely dry and sensitive skin type but uh, you can see the texture on the skin on the lips the chappiness everything is just okay i love the way i am with and without makeup i like equally so i started off by applying a good nourishing lip balm from the minimalist to my lips now this is a very uh, good one if you're having pigmented lips and for my under eyes do not forget to take care of them so i first used the ordinary a caffeine solution and just a pea size amount and applied it very gently underneath my eye contour area and patted it in and then i followed it up with the serum from the ordinary i think this was the niacinamide and again a small amount and then i just massaged it all over my skin so this is like the skin care that i like to do on a daily basis i switched from minimalist to ordinary to um bioderma and plum products and you can see how much i love this moisturizer again from the minimalist it's the marula oil moisturizer i feel in the summer i won't be able to use this because uh in winter this was really good and heavy duty moisturization but for summer i think i would have to switch to some other lighter option and once my makeup seeps into my skin like post 5 minutes i start up with my makeup very first is a primer because to not prime is a crime it's basically it's going to make your makeup long lasting and i actually feel so it just grips on to your makeup as well as the major uh, important feature of a primer to me is that it creates a barrier between the makeup as well as your skin like i know you've done your skin care but still uh, an, an extra step will do some extra good to you and moving on i used the highlighting base from swiss beauty it's basically the real makeup base is what they call it it's like a strobe cream ka moisturizer kind of thing and it just meshes into the skin really well now they have like three variants out of which the one natural tint gives a very natural look the others look very golden and pink on the skin so do not opt for those but i really like how glowy and healthy looking my dry skin looks post this and then moving on to the star product i have the kiro beauty daily dewy liquid foundation and i have been obsessed using this one I'm using the shade 03 it's an ultra lightweight buildable and breathable foundation perfect for everyday wear and i love the dewy finish that it gives it has like a light to medium coverage which makes it just apt for everyday use a plus it is also infused with three serums uh, like hyaluronic acid a uh, vitamin c and niacinamide and i think it's because of these serums that makes the foundation uh, very dewy and uh, looks very lightweight on the skin like more of like skin like kind of look and i feel i just love this kind of bare minimum looking products uh, you can see i have just like applied like hardly one and half pump of it and i love how it looks extremely natural on the skin post that i just use a little amount of the nyx a bare with me concealer underneath my eyes to hide the dark circles and around my mouth to cover up the pigmentation and uh, yes again i'm blending it all out with the help of my fingers i feel for everyday wear or uh, if you are in a rush you don't really have the time to go for brushes but products like these are very very easy to blend even with the help of uh, your fingers with the warmth these are extremely easy to work with and yes that's how i really like to do it with clean fingers obviously and yes you can see how gorgeous my base overall looks extremely healthy natural and almost like I'm wearing no makeup that kind of look like kisi ko pata nahi chalna se you know uh, that kind of makeup I truly like doing on everyday basis like whenever I'm heading out and it's extremely normal if you can see the under eye uh, fine lines that I have because it's normal come on let's normalize it and love the way we are 
so next up for contouring i'm using the makeup revolution cream bronzer again this is like a perfect dupe of uh, the huda beauty tantor if you haven't tried it you've missed out on it you should definitely give it a shot uh, i really like uh, this product as well it just adds the perfect cool tone structure back to my chubby face that i've grown into but yes i'm again blending it all out with the help of my fingers i've used a very little amount because again as i said little by little like you do not have to apply way too much on your skin i like to use extremely less amount of products especially for this everyday kind of look because i'm quite happy with that low to medium coverage kind of scenario right mm -hmm. and then for my blush i go ham in this part i'm using the inside cream blusher again i love this one absolutely gorgeous product it blends like a dream and packs a punch you can see the pigment right away it is just for 75 rupees guys and you can always find it on discounted prices definitely check that out then to set underneath my eyes very lightly i'm using the hd loose powder from inside cosmetics and this puff i'm using very less amount of powder because i'm already a dry skin type and i do not want to become a very matte matte mess so very lightly i'm just dusting that powder all over majorly setting underneath my eyes because i end up creasing a lot there and on my forehead i get very shiny with time and yes that is how my base looks post that i'm using my oldie my goodie the wet and wild precious petals highlighter again when i used it that day i realized how much i loved this and oh my god it looks so gorgeous on the skin again picking up a very less product on the ring finger and just blending it very lightly do not scrub it or else you are you would end up moving your base for my eyebrows i'm using the soap styler from makeup revolution this is a brown shaded one they also have a clear one while i think for my dense brows i like the tinted one because it does not look white post some time or else with these soap brows you know i've noticed that my brows look grayish and white and very unnatural and for that i like the tinted one way better than the clear ones and you can see it just sets my shinshan brows very well next up i am using the botanico super shield mascara again from kiro beauty love this one i absolutely love this one it has an hourglass shaped brush which adds the perfect volume and length for that everyday wear i feel this mascara is so bomb it is waterproof does not clump up your lashes and make them look spider like no 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 it does not even flake i've been using this constantly and i love how it gives a very natural voluminous look to my almost nothing kind of lashes like they are non existent literally and i love that it's also infused with avocado oil and calendula extract for that extra care for your lashes which is perfect formulation for everyday wear and the best part is that this mascara being waterproof is easy to remove i love it and lastly for completing my look i'm using the roasted walnut super butter lip lacquer again from kiro and oh my god if you haven't tried their glosses again you've missed out on a lot i love how high shine these butter lip lacquers are from kiro they pack a punch of pigment like i haven't even dipped my brush again into it and you can see it just covered my pigmented lips so well and this color looks so bomb on me it's like that perfect you know nude mauve brown kind of shade high shine formulation super moisturizing gives my lips that you know plumpy look and also a very shiny looking appearance non sticky and has like 12 shades i love it plus kiro is 100% vegan and cruelty free too lastly so as to set my base in place i'm using the seal the deal a makeup fixer from mars and yes that is the finished look just drying it up with my hand fan from miniso and yes i hope you guys enjoyed watching this that's my everyday you know bare minimum kind of makeup look like you know makeup therapies like this 
feel so good to me i love seeing these and that is how my skin looks like in complete natural light no filters nothing no ring light uh real skin and i love how it looks you can see, still see the bumps the scars of uh, my underline my under eye fine lines everything is just normal just fine i love the way how my skin looks like skin and not really made up uh because makeup i feel is just a way to enhance your natural features and not to cover them up we shall meet soon in the next one till then take care bye